Oh my god, I have so much stuff. I've got to like move it all closer. I um, Whew, I didn't realize how much fall stuff I bought until now. So let me grab some of this a little bit closer. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley and I help people recognize their full potential by exploring all aspects of the mind-body connection. If you're here, we've got something a little bit different for you today, taking a break from the podcast. It's highly requested. I'm doing a little fall favorites video. So I have some things that I've gotten from Amazon and TJ Maxx. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Unfortunately, the things that I got at TJ Maxx, I don't have a link for and TJ Maxx is kind of one of those places that's like pick and sift, pick and choose. So I don't know if what I'm gonna show you from TJ Maxx is still available, but I'm gonna show you everything that I got anyways just because fall is just such a fun season to buy some decor for the house and some clothes and things like that and I'm also going to show you what I've gotten from Amazon which I do have links to absolutely everything that you're going to be seeing in this video that's from Amazon down below in the description box so you can head over to my Amazon storefront it's going to be called fall favorites or fall finds I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet but you're going to be able to find everything there so if you're interested in seeing some awesome amazing fall goodies uh stay tuned also I'm not naked I have shorts on so yes let's go ahead and get into it all right first thing I'm actually going to start with since I'm kind of thirsty is this uh set of cups that I got so so adorable i'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see so these were in a set of four i'm gonna try to insert the picture of the product on amazon so you guys can see i've been loving these cups so much so the rest of them are in the dishwasher as of right now because i was just like too excited to hold on to them before I, I started this haul but these are actually made in italy and they're made from recycled glass which i think is so cool they're all organic i'm gonna leave like i said a picture of it down below but these cups i don't know what it is but these cups make me feel like i'm a main character like i love little things that i can do to romanticize my life and to romanticize my routine and one of them is having my water in these cups like when i take my vitamins in the morning i keep this on my nightstand at night and i have my little cute cup to drink my water in and it came in a set of four so there's a nice beautiful set of this also on the box it had the option to get like a, a tea set with this as well or like a pitcher or something so they had this in green and they had this in blue but i am in love with this like rosy pink shade i think it's so freaking cute and I think the design is really cute too. And also it has like little grips on it. So it's like easy to grip the cup. I am loving this. I don't think this was terribly expensive and it's really good quality. Like this is heavy duty uh, quality glass. So cheers to that. So that's the first item that we have. We're gonna just keep going with Amazon because um, we're already there. All right, so God, I don't even know what to move to next. If you guys could see the pile of things, that I have on my floor right now, it looks like fall just like vomited all over my floor. That's how much stuff there is. I'm actually gonna start with this uh, item next because I have a funny story behind this. So, this is a set of three candles. They're little tea lights. So they have, um, they came with these removable tea lights. These aren't attached by the way either. Like you can totally separate these. So I'm just gonna give you a close up of what the candles themselves looks like. Look like bleh. I literally can't speak. Um, and they come with a little tea light at the top that you can take out, you can swap them out. Tea lights are pretty inexpensive, so it's pretty easy to swap those out. It's a set of three, they're all different heights, and it comes with this little tray that you can put them on. So, this, this I have a story behind. So if you guys follow me on TikTok, if you don't already, uh, what are you doing? Um, come join the fun. Uh, my username on there is I'm Haley Noel, but I posted a TikTok about this item. I had no idea that it was going to blow up in the way that it did, but basically when I got these candles sent to me, there was nothing wrong with them. They were super cute. I noticed that they were wrapped in a really strange paper. So they were wrapped in what felt like a blank newspaper as like the first outer layer. And then I opened them up and there was this newspaper in this foreign language, which was like some kind of Asian language. I wasn't sure what it was. Forgive me for my ignorance. Um, I do know that I am very unaware of foreign languages like that. So again, forgive me for my ignorance, but that's kind of not where the story uh, even stops. It really just gets started with that. So I thought the newspaper was really weird and I decided to look through it and see if I could figure out what language it was and what, you know, it was saying. So I'm actually gonna try to see if I can insert a clip of the TikTok here explaining to you guys what sort of happened there. The side of it was wrapped with. If anyone knows what language this is, first of all, let me know, because I'm actually genuinely curious. So this is where the mystery really starts. So I took a closer look at this newspaper 
and it's full of like random English words in spots and I don't know if it's trying to spell out some sort of code or some sort of secret message. So here's what it said. So if you look at this newspaper, you'd think from first glance, it's all in whatever this language is. Forgive me for my ignorance that I don't know what this language is, but here we go. It says Gen Z. Now you come down here. Here's to you. Come here, come here. Uh, my teacher here will tell you, here's to you. Here stood my house, stood, stand, you don't belong here. Here and there, here and there, men are working. Um, I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? Like, I genuinely have no idea if I've just unearthed something. Is this some sort of secret message from these people? Are these poor people like trapped in a factory or something? I <laughs> genuinely don't know. Um, do we have an Outer bank situation? Is this clues to a treasure? I truly don't know. So long story short, this weird cryptic message in this newspaper, I was not able to find a resolution to. None of the reviews mentioned anybody else having this kind of thing with their order of these candles. Nothing else said anything suspicious about the wrapping. But um, I don't know if I was overreacting, if this was some kind of message. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments because this totally blew my mind. And, and I order Amazon all the time. I'm constantly ordering things from Amazon. Literally like every day there's something on my doorstep and never in the entire time of me ordering things from Amazon have I seen that kind of weird newspaper, let alone with that sort of cryptic hidden message in it. So let me know what you guys think. Honestly, maybe order these candles for yourself. See if you get uh, the weird newspaper too but these are so cute I haven't lit them yet I haven't really decided where I want to put them I'm looking in my room now they kind of would match my aesthetic in here I love these like earthy tones and I love black accents so it's perfect for my room I might extend it over into some other parts of my living space but I'm not really sure I was just really captivated by them I think they're so adorable no shade or no anything to the person um, who was selling this like it just uh, for me, I don't know, I just got a weird wrapping experience with it. But I do love these and I'm excited to use them, so I just wanted to share that. Uh, next thing from Amazon that I got, I'm just gonna stay with like home stuff now because that seems to be uh, the theme, is this adorable little circular basket. Like, look at how cute this is. I also am not really sure where to put this, but I figured even like for on your bed, like, you know, you could put it as like a tray on your bed for like bed and breakfast or breakfast in bed rather. I don't know why my brain is just saying like, no, let's not say words right today. But anyways, I thought this was super cute. You could even put, you know, things like candles in here, you know, accessories in the living room. You could put remotes in here as a centerpiece. Actually, that's what I originally got it for, but I wasn't thrilled about using it as my centerpiece. So, um, yeah, I feel like this is super cute. I love, obviously, as you can tell, these woven textures, earthy tones. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And it could be used in so many different ways. So I think this is really adorable. Relatively inexpensive, really good quality. Um, yeah, it's really good quality. So this is the... Uh, next little home piece that I got. So the next thing that I got and the next few things that I got are things for the bathroom, like bathroom decor. So the first thing is I got a set of three of these little bamboo storage containers. So check out how cute these are. I have like some of my hair scrunchies stored in this one. This one I've got some Q-tips and these are plastic. They look like they might be glass, but they're plastic. And you really just pop off the little bamboo top. I'm trying to let it focus so you guys can see. Um, these are so cute. And I feel like these are perfect for your countertop. Like I said, I really have just been into the earthy palette as of late. It's just been really calling my name and speaking to me. So like all of these different wood tones, I'm a huge fan of. So these I have in my bathroom right now. Oop, cap just fell off of one of them. So these are super cute. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, kind of similar to the last one. This is, I got a set of, I think it was 10 or 12 of these. I'll try to see if I can find the product. These little bamboo jars. Now these are glass jars and these actually have uh, a really good ceiling top. So I don't really know what to use these for. I just thought they were really cute. I th actually thought they were gonna be bigger um, when I ordered them. I didn't realize they were gonna be this small. So it's like kind of an awkward size, right? It's like, what do you put in here? 
I guess maybe you could put spices in here or like dried herbs maybe for the kitchen. I really am at a loss, so please somebody let me know. They're so adorable. So I don't know what to do with these, but I really like them. They're also really inexpensive and these are glass. So these are um, nice and sturdy. Like I said, these ones were plastic. The last thing kind of extending off of that wooden theme is this little organizer for like the back of the toilet. I think this is so cute too. It's just a little wooden box. It has a handle on each side and it's this was very inexpensive as well but I thought that this would be perfect for like you could put toilet paper in here you could put these little things in here like it's just really cute you could put a plant in here whatever you want this is perfect for the back of the toilet especially because I am loving the like wooden earthy aesthetic as you can obviously tell so when I saw this I was like this is perfect I needed something for behind my toilet uh, all my ladies out there if you use tampons this is perfect for like putting a little jar with tampons in as well that's actually what I I do so this was really cute again super inexpensive and it really ties into my wooden aesthetic you know um, that whole shebang so I'm trying to think the next thing that I want to actually before we get into some of the body stuff I have one more thing which is so adorable and that is this coaster set look at how cute these are this is a set of Ooh, I don't know how many coasters. There's enough coasters in here. I'll find out in the description, but again, earthy tones. It comes in this little wooden case. And the uh, design on the front of the coasters is like this, again, kind of on that wooden uh, earthy palette. This is how thick they are. And then they have these little uh, rubber stoppers on them. So these are adorable. Again, really simple, earthy tones, which I absolutely love. These are great quality. They don't scratch the surface. This little coaster also doesn't scratch the surface. And they're super cute. I thought that they were also really unique. Like they were an interesting design that really stood out to me. So these are great. I use coasters all around my house. I use them in my bedroom because I'm constantly having a glass of water or, you know, a cup of tea at my bedside at night. So I always have like a drink around, even in the house. Um, so I thought that these were really cute. They were very inexpensive and they're, you know, again, in line with my earthy wooden tone theme, which I think is also really just timeless. Like it's a very evergreen thing, right? To have earthy tones throughout your house is, is a timeless, you know, thing that can transition through to any season. So that's why I really loved these. It's, it's uh, very versatile in that way. So that is the coasters. I'm trying to think if there's anything else for home goods that I have from Amazon. This is all Amazon stuff that you're seeing here, by the way, first, um, and then we're gonna get into the TJ Maxx stuff. So I think now that we're done with the home side of things, I'm gonna move into like bath and body stuff. So this brand is really amazing. I've been trying to make a conscious effort the last few months to just think about what I'm putting on my skin and on my body and, and trying to eliminate, you know, toxic chemicals. I am not interested in purchasing, you know, things from Bath and Body Works anymore or other brands. I'm really trying to find things that are organic, that are better for the environment, that are better for our bodies and our skin because our skin is our largest organ and we, um, we're always absorbing whatever we're putting on it. So why wouldn't we take into consideration, you know, our, our bathing products and things like that. So I want to share this brand with you guys. This is not sponsored in any way, but but holy moly, I am in love. It's called Avalon Organics. This is their lemon body lotion. I got this in a pack of three and I'm telling you, I'm gonna put some on right now. Like this is such good quality. It's so smooth. It smells, it literally smells like fresh, like baked lemon cookies, like straight up lemon. It's so invigorating. The, the lemon scent is spot on and it doesn't smell fake. Like it doesn't have that fake artificial smell and it's non-GMO. It's vegan. It's also biodegradable. Uh, and it's made with lemon essential oil. It's made from hundred percent recycled materials. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more conscious about the things that I'm purchasing in that way. It says no GMOs, parabens, harsh sulfates, or preservatives, synthetic colors, or fragrances. Phthalates. I don't know how to say that word or animal testing. So I actually feel really good about supporting this brand and, and using it. Avalon Organics, this is the lemon lotion. It came in a three pack. I'm not sure what other scents of lotions they have, but that kind of brings me into my next product. Um, it's kind of like slimy because it was like wet because it was in the shower, but this is their nourishing lavender. Um, 
bath and shower gel. So I use this basically as just like a body wash, um, as a bubble bath. It's sulfate free, it's non-GMO, it's vegan, it's biodegradable. This has an amazing lavender scent that again does not smell fake. It smells like straight up lavender essential oil, but it's not too overpowering. So this is really nice. It's very gentle on the skin. The first ingredient here as I'm looking is actually aloe leaf juice, which is pretty cool. So look into this brand guys again i'm not sponsored by them i wish that i was but avalon organics check out what they have i don't know what other scents they had i know they have lavender and lemon obviously i'm trying to think that there might have been like a coconut or something i'm gonna see if i can look into that but this has been amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're looking to transition to more natural holistic sustainable products for your bath and for your skin uh, i would definitely recommend this and that leads me to my last bath product from Amazon, and that is this uh, fractioned coconut oil. So it comes in a pump like this. So I use this as a moisturizer for like the drier parts of my body, like my elbows and my knees, even my feet sometimes. And I also use this as a carrier oil for my essential oil. So if I ever wanna do something with like my lavender or my eucalyptus, you always wanna have a carrier oil, right? Because some of these more potent oils can be quite harsh on our skin if we don't dilute them with uh, a carrier oil so you can use it like for whatever you want you could probably even use this as like a hair mask if you were interested I personally haven't tried that it's 100% natural it's uh, not tested on animals so um, this seems like it's a pretty good brand as well again I'm just trying to be um, a bit more mindful it doesn't aggravate any you know skin conditions if you have sensitive skin this is great for that it's about as natural as it gets when it comes to a body oil, I would say. The only more natural thing you could do is to just get regular coconut oil from the store, let it melt in your hands, and then put it on your body, which you could also do. I know that the properties of the oil are different when they're fractioned versus when they're in that solid state, so maybe do a little bit more research of that on your own. But for the sake of moisturizing or for the sake of a carrier oil, massage oil, I think this is great. I think it's awesome. It doesn't really smell like anything, um, and it's pretty good. So. Yeah, everything that you have seen in this video is going to be listed in the description on my storefront under the page titled Fall Finds. So that's where you can find all of this stuff. Use that link, guys. Um, check this stuff out if you're interested. We're going to move into TJ Maxx stuff now um, just because it's fun. I know that um, I don't have a link for any of this, but I did just want to show you guys what I've gotten. So first thing that I'll show you, this is from TJ Maxx. This was one of the first things that caught my eye is this adorable little brie cheese maker. It was just the cutest thing and I could not resist getting this when I saw it. That's, you know, consumer headspace for you. I mean, this is this is the chokehold the fall has on us. I've said it before, I'll say it again, but it's a little orange thing. It's got a witch's hat. Tell me that's not the most adorable thing you've ever seen. So this is meant for baking brie cheese in the oven if you're doing like appetizers or something and you have things to dip it in, but it comes with the separate lid and it's just a bowl like this. And it also comes with this little wooden spoon, which I'm assuming is to like stir around the, the cheese or whatever. But I don't eat brie cheese. I'm not really a big fan of that kind of, you know, charcuterie stuff. So I was thinking I would just either, you know, bake some like baked oats in this in the oven or have some soup out of this, some chili, mac and cheese. I feel like this is just a perfect bowl for like hearty fall comfort food. So that's what I'm probably going to use this for. Um, I just think it's too cute and I mean, come on, look at that witch's hat. It's adorable. And this little wooden spoon that it came with is pretty cool too. I'm a big fan of that. So this was the first thing that I got from TJ Maxx. Moving into candles. I got three candles, guys. And I just want to tell you that my absolute favorite brand of candles at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all those kinds of stores is this brand called Sand and Paws. So this is the brand. This candle scent. This is called White Pumpkin. So the reason I love this brand so much is because they have such a strong scent payoff from these candles. And they also neutralize pet odor, which I can tell you definitely works. I have a dog and I feel like when I light these, um, oh my God, I want to like hold it up like as if you could smell it, but mm, it smells so good. And the candles always usually have these like cute little things written in the top of them. These are really inexpensive. Um, these were $13 a piece, but I feel like for the quality, they're, um, they're, it's totally worth it. And they match, so I got a set of two, so I could put one on either nightstand, and they just like go with the aesthetic of my room too, which I'm always thinking about, you know, these little details and these little things that bring me joy, you know, is uh, candles. And White Pumpkin is the scent of these. So again, Sand and Paws is the brand. If you're interested, I'm telling you, 10 out of 10 for the scent 
on these candles. Same goes for the next candle that I got, which is also Sand and Paws. This one is a black one, but this one is called Apple Spice. And I'm just gonna smell it now because why not? Oh my God, that like, it literally smells like cinnamon sticks and apple and just fall in a candle. It smells so good. Um, and this was, again, pretty inexpensive. This was only $8. And again, the scent payoff for these is incredible. My absolute favorite brand of candles, without a doubt. I actually used to love Bath & Body Works candles. I've kind of switched away from those. And I'm really into this. And it's a soy wax blend. So um, they smell really good. So definitely, like, it's so hard for me to pick which candle scent I like better. Um, but yeah, apple spice actually might even outbeat the white pumpkin for me a little bit. But if you're into the fall smells, so, so, so amazing. Next candle I got, this is, uh, this is also sand and paws. I didn't even realize this was the same, but look at how cute this is. It has a little sunflower with a paw in the center. And this one's white pumpkin too. It's just a different design. So this is the same scent as those first two candles but this one just looks a little bit different. So this one is in a glass jar as opposed to like the matte finish of the other ones. Same white pumpkin scent. And this one was also $8. So these two in this like smaller size is $8, which is honestly, these are still like pretty decent sized candles. Look at the size of them, you know, compared to my head. They're decent sized candles. Scent payoff is incredible. I, I'm burning the other two first of this white pumpkin one and I'm saving this one for a little bit later, which I'm thinking now maybe in hindsight I should have done the other way around because this one's a sunflower and that's more like early fall, but ugh, it doesn't really matter. I just get excited and I just like start burning them all anyway. So the next thing I got is is this set of like Halloween fuzzy socks and I think that they're so adorable so these little um, socks they have like some of the strings are falling out honestly the quality of these is not ideal guys I'm gonna be real with you but they're so cute like how can you pass that up stripes typical like quintessential Halloween colors they're so cute these ones trick-or-treat however you're supposed to do that trick or treat like these are adorable these are so cute and they're comfy and the black ones are just solid black solid black little fuzzy socks black ones you can wear year round but these i feel like are so cute for just like around the house lounging they're fuzzy they're soft we all know how fuzzy socks feel they're like stretchy and they're super cute like this is like classic halloween colors like i've said they're just so adorable so these were i think like four dollars or something for the pack of three of them so super inexpensive next thing i got is this amazing throw blanket so this is like a beautiful burnt orange color i love this shade of orange for fall and it's like it's tasteful, right? It's not like tacky fall decor. It's like it still ties in with my aesthetic. So I'll swap this blanket out, you know, for this one now that we're getting into October. But it's got these little pom poms at the end and it's like a nice fuzzy material. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. It's beautiful. It was relatively inexpensive and it's just like quintessential fall color. Like I picture myself having my coffee outside in the morning and just like wrapping this around myself, listening to the birds chirp, breathing in the crisp fall air. Like that's what I think of when I, when I think of this blanket and it's so comfy and I love it. So this one definitely a really good find. I think it was like $17 or something. So it was pretty inexpensive. Last thing I got that's like not clothing related is this little essential oil set. I'm trying to turn these around because they like moved in the packaging a little bit, but it's a pumpkin patch essential oil set. How cute are these things? I feel like this would make a great gift for somebody for fall, like a little housewarming gift or even just a little gift for your friend. I'm not gifting it to anyone. I got it for myself, but that's okay. Um, so there's four different scents of essential oils. There's orange clove, sandalwood, pumpkin spice, and vanilla. And these are made in the USA, so I researched the brand and these seem like they're pretty good quality essential oils. Um, I did open them up and I noticed that the scent payoff is not as strong as like my organic brand of essential oils, which is to be expected. You know, it's, it's from TJ Maxx. It's not like, you know, best of the best top tier quality, but it is really cute for fall and you can put these in your diffuser. You can mix these with your carrier oil and put them on your skin if you want to smell like a fall pumpkin cupcake. But um, yeah, I'm excited to use these. Again, I'm trying not to use like everything at once because I have a tendency to get really excited and want to use like all of this stuff that I got for fall at once, but I'm hold holding on to these. I'm saving them 
for a little bit longer. So that's the last of the home stuff. I got this set of um, like bralettes, sports bras that are so cute. So this is the first one. I love this pattern. Just so you guys can see this material, I don't even know how you would explain it, but it's like so comfortable. It's stretchy, but it's also form fitting. This is what the back looks like. It comes with like the little boob cups in it, which I'm actually leaving in for this one. Uh, funny enough, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I don't like those boob cups. Uh, but then this is the other color. The boob cup moved <laughs> from one boob to the next, uh, which is like the most TJ Maxx thing ever. Um, so yeah, anyways, this is the color and I feel like these are so cute to wear with like an off the shoulder sweater to wear around the house, to yoga. These are definitely low impact. So I wouldn't be, you know, doing cardio in these or jumping rope in these if you're on the bigger chested side. But I think these are great for just lounging around like with, a, you know, they're just like super cute. So this set was really inexpensive too. I'm not remembering how much it was. It was definitely under $20 for both of these bras, maybe even under 15. And actually what I realized is when I um, got back from the store, I didn't realize I found this pair of leggings and I didn't realize how perfectly these go together. So this little sports bra with these leggings, like how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love this color. If you guys can't tell, I'm loving like the burnt orange vibe as of lately. So I found these leggings. The brand is called Yogalicious Luxe, for anyone that's curious. Um, and these are really stretchy. They have an amazing waistband. They've got a great backside. They're stretchy, they're form fitting. They're really soft. I've washed these already before too. These are a great like Lulu dupe. I really love these leggings and um, I'm excited to wear these for the rest of fall. If you guys are curious, um, just a refresher, or I didn't even tell you guys, but Dan Skin is the brand of these uh, little bralettes. So if you guys maybe go to the Dan Skin website, you can find it, I'm not really sure. Uh, or for these leggings, Yogalicious, you could see if you could find it. For reference, I am a size small in these and I'm five foot six and I'm about 140 pounds and I'm a medium in these bras that I got. So just a size reference there. But these are super cute, like 12 out of 10. I'm really amazed with the quality. They suck in your waist nice, they make your butt look good um, and they stay in place. Like the waistline stays in place pretty good. So definitely would recommend these. I actually have a few bonus clothing items from Amazon that I forgot to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna put these in. I can't believe that I forgot that these were also from Amazon. But first thing is this little matching set that I got. So this is the sports bra and the biker shorts. This is so adorable. I love this color. I'm not gonna lie, if you're under like red light, it looks like you're naked when you're wearing these leggings because I taught a spin class at my studio in red lights with these on and I was like, oh my God, I literally look like I'm naked. Um, but this is so cute, like especially if you have a tan, like for me when I have a bit of a tan, I really like how this looks. I feel like it's very like clean aesthetic vibes, really nice material. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. So it's like ribbed trying to let it focus. It's like ribbed and stretchy. So you guys can see kind of like what that material is, see how it stretches. Sports bra is the same material. It has this little cut down in the front. I think this one came with the boob cups too, but I wound, out, uh, wound up taking them out because I hate those boob cups aside from this bra that I got, which I'm keeping them in for. But this was Amazon, link is gonna be down below. I have just a few more things to show you guys. The next thing is this <laughs> pack of uh, sports bras that I got, just like bralettes for around the house. I thought these are really cute. These still have the boob cups in them. I haven't really worn these much yet, but they were a big comfortable um, pack. So there's like so many of them as you can see, but it's nice to just have like an everyday bra for when you're just running errands or something. You don't want to have a push-up bra and you don't want to have underwire digging at you. Um, and this is like a nice brown color. Like I love uh, these earthy tones. As you can tell, I'm so into the earthy tones, man. I'm realizing this now, oh my gosh. But um, yeah, these are really cute. I'm trying to like find a dainty way to even show you how one of them looks because they're all still connected. But this is what they look like. The link will be down below for these. They're stretchy. They have the adjustable straps in the back. A little bonus item. I got this set over the summer, but I feel like it's really cute and you could transition this into fall as just like sleepwear around the house. These are the shorts. It's a really nice like knit material. It's so comfortable and it came with this top, which I absolutely love. It's like a nice uh, material as well. It's really, it feels really well made to be honest with you, but this is so cute. Like, 
I wear this as like pajamas around the house if I just want to feel like I have my life together. I've worn this to the beach as a cover up, but I feel like you could transition this top into fall even just with like jeans or something like super casual, comfy around the house. It's so adorable because even though the weather might be getting cooler, I'm the kind of person that will still sleep in like shorts and a tank top year round. So uh, that's why I love this. So this was really cute. I will put the link in the description. Last thing that I have for you guys is a pair of leggings that I found um, from somebody on TikTok. I forget who it was actually, but these are like a really beautiful shade of olive green. Now I would size down in these. I found that they ran extremely big on me. So I actually wound up sizing down to like, I think a small or an extra small in these. Um, and even that, I still feel like there's a lot of room, but they're really well made. I feel like these are really awesome Lulu dupes. This is what the back looks like. It's got the seam, really stretchy material as you guys can see. And it's this beautiful shade of olive green. Like I love this shade of olive green. It's like one of my favorite colors to wear. I don't know what it is, but it's super cute. They stay up pretty well. Again, they do run large, so I would definitely size down for these. Um, but they had so many colors, like so many colors. I was really blown away at how many they had uh, to offer, but I love these. I've been wearing them to the gym. They're cute. They're versatile. They go with so much white sports bra, black sports bra, you know, whatever you want to call it. But these are super comfortable. Again, they're going to be in the link uh, down below. All right, so I think that uh, is a wrap on my Amazon TJ Maxx fall haul, fall finds, fall favorites, whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, that means we're vibing. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to for fall. Hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And check out the links below, guys. Check out that uh, Amazon storefront page. You're going to be able to find all of the stuff that's from Amazon that I listed in this video there. And um, yeah, happy fall. Happy shopping. I'm sending you so much love and light. And I hope that you have the most amazing day day and the most amazing week, month, year ever. All right. That is all I have for you today, my loves. I am signing off. Happy fall. Go get yourself some amazing fall things. All right. Bye.